It's Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon. I finally got some sleep. It's Thursday afternoon. It's Thursday afternoon. Yeah. So, uh, freaking got up at noon today and, uh, Girlfriend came home for lunch, so I just laid there and pretended to be sleeping and stuff, just to see what the hell goes on and stuff, and waited about an hour, she was making a lot of noise trying to wake me up, didn't realize I was already awake, whatever, I'm like a ninja like that. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. Anyway, so, uh, freaking got up at one, had a shower, cleaned myself up, and here we are, back to another day of vlogging. And welcome to my vlog. You said you're like Adam you really need to like set yourself a sleeping freaking schedule and stuff well I kind of sort of got one every night I go to bed at around 435 because 5 to noon is seven hours which is ample amount of time to at least get four sleep cycles in which is more than enough for what I need so that's what I do I go to bed at 5, so if I'm playing video games, or the only time it didn't happen was, well, obviously the other night when I went over for coffee with Rex, because normally when I go for coffee with Rex, we're not out that late. Well, the other night that was a different story, because we were out to like, freaking quarter to, uh, quarter after 4, like, holy shit, I didn't get home till 4.30, didn't get to bed till like 7 o'clock in the morning, and I was up at noon because Barky McFuckstick was going off like a freck fire alarm. Son of a bitch. So, I, uh, yeah, but last night I got to bed at a decent hour and, uh, woke up today feeling pretty freaking good. I got a little bit of the groggies. <sighs> you know, I got the yawns and stuff. Nothing a cough you won't fix or a gung ho, which apparently I've been told is bad for you now. Yep. Apparently, uh, a lot of the ingredients are bad for you. Like, you know, here, let's go through the ingredients and I'll tell you what I was told. What the fuck are the ingredients? One second here. So you got the ingredients here, right? And they're like, okay, caffeine, which is caffeine. Ashwagandha, caffeine. Guarana, more caffeine, or stimulant. Sorry, so caffeine stimulant. Ashwagandha, stimulant. Guarana root, stimulant. Uh, cola is kind of a stimulant. Aluru, whatever. Apparently is a, car a carcinogenic. Uh, sodium benzoate, carcinogenic. You know? <laughs> so apparently this shit is not exactly healthy for you. And whatever. But like anything else, in moderation, it won't hurt you. You know? Like using packets of sweetener. In moderation, won't hurt you. It is a carcinogenic. Drinking Diet Pepsi. In moderation, won't hurt you. Fucking eating eggs. Eating eggs in moderation won't hurt you. Eat the shit out of them, guess what? Welcome to Cholesterol City, right? Anything in moderation is fine, your body can adapt. But you start flooding your body with one single thing, non-stop, like, if I were to friggin' rock that whole box into me, yeah, I'd probably die in a week. Fuck it, you know? But, uh, you know, in moderation, have one here, one there, you know, I haven't done a gung-ho now in two days, so... Having one now wouldn't really be a big deal. No different than drinking those monster energy drinks or those amp energy drinks or the friggin' Rockstar. All those friggin' energy drinks on the markets. And what's even worse is the cheaper knockoff ones because they put extra shit in theirs. Just to add, add filler and make it cheaper, right? You know, like you got a bunch of the, the knockoffs. Like I said, a Red Bull, I think they call it like Red Fire or Red Rain or something like that. And it's a knockoff. It's like half the price. But uh, it's also got some freaking nastier shit in it than Red Bull. Just saying. So, anything you do. It, do it in moderation, you're fine. Do it to the extreme, you're probably going to die. Just saying. Well, anyway, I don't know what the fuck we're going to get into today. We're just going to give her. Just going to give her shit. And, um... Yeah, we're just going to give her shit. So let's go give her shit. Oh, it's 2.30. So, I figured... I better go outside for a cigarette, cause, cause. Oh God. Cause. Oh God. Oh my God. Cause Felix, what are you doing? I'm just laying here watching some Star Trek. Oh. 
Yeah, Deep Space Nine. That's my favorite. I apologize. I like that kind. It's really good. Bye. Well, I'm going to go outside for a cigarette and give her a stink because uh, I need a cigarette. Uh, hello. What? Hi. What do you want? I'm, I'm a little hungry. Can I have some food? Oh, you want some food? Yeah, I want some food. Okay, well, I'm going to give him some food and then I'm going to go outside for a cigarette, for freak's sakes. You ready for it, buddy? Oh, come on, not this again. You ready for it? Ah, uh, so still don't do this. Come okay, on. here you go. Ah, uh, uh, sweet. Yeah, you guys thought I was going to do the cup thing, and he thought I was going to do the cup thing, too. But I didn't do the cup thing. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? Yes, it is. Oh, it's good, eh? Yeah, it's good. We'll let him eat. So, put my garbage out last night, but... I forgot Monday was a holiday, so it doesn't have to go out till tonight. Whoops. Oh well, it's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. Oh well, what can you do when you live in a shoe, eh? You can get ahead and move to a hat. That's always fun. Get ahead and move to a freaking hat, bitch. So I haven't given the dose to the uh, MacBook Air yet. The dose. The alcohol dose. Straight up fucking ice propyl alcohol. 99% pure. Haven't bothered. Haven't bothered. Frig it. I'll do that probably some other day. I don't know. I'm in no rush to get that machine working. Whenever I do, I do. Whenever I don't, I don't. You know? It's the way she go, yo. Oh, what a day. What a freaking day. So yeah, the biggest humbug right now is all about the PS4 and how they did a press conference last night for it. And apparently... A lot of people were pissed off. Sorry, I'm putting a tripod on you guys. If I can find the freaking hole. Wrong hole, fool! Wrong hole! Um, but yeah, apparently the big big news last night was that uh, Sony unveiled the new PlayStation 4. And apparently what happened was the PS4, they announced it, they talked about it. Um... I, I need to fix something here on my video game. Okay. But uh, apparently they announced the PS4, but they neglected to actually huh, show what the console looked like and apparently it caused a lot of a lot of anger amongst um amongst the audience, amongst the audience. So, yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So right now I'm just editing up more Sleeping Dogs here. I played it last night for a bit. Got a whole bunch of episodes. What I'm doing now for Skaven Games is I'm going to just take one game and kick the shit out of it. And then upload that. And then take another game. Because I got right now on the go I got, uh, well Grand Theft Auto is done. Grand Theft Auto uh, The Lost and Damned is done. Still playing Minecraft. Still playing Farming Simulator. But I'm onto the Kansas maps. Uh, I did some Euro Truck Simulator, but that game is just another farming simulator where it never ends. You just keep going till you're awesome. Um, I also have going on Sleeping Dogs, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and freaking uh, uh, Saints Row the Third. And the problem is, is I've been kind of meshing them all in and just tossing them in. And I was like, well, I should just target one game and kill it, then target the next game and kill it, then target the next game and kill it. So that's what I'm doing now, is I'm targeting those games and killing them. So that's what I got on the go. Um... So right now I'm going to get this uh, Sleeping Dogs done, and that is my plan. Because once I get all this shit done and did, then I can carry on to Assassin's Creed, get that done and did. Ugh. And then once Assassin's Creed is done and did, then I can move on to the next game. Holy shit, you don't realize how good that fucking feels. But then once uh, that's all said and done, I can move on to the next game, which would be the, um, I keep wanting to say Double Ender Dildo, but it's not Double Ender Dildo, it's uh, Saints Row the Third, because you can actually get a Double Ender Dildo as a weapon and smash people in the face. Then I can move on to that game, and that'd be pretty badass, and then I can find something else to play and give her. Like, Minecraft is a game that'll never end, uh, unless, you know, I go after the Ender Dragon and kick his ass. Uh, what other game is there? There's uh, Farming Simulator. There's so much shit going on in that, and it's unbelievable. So those two there are pretty good. So that's, like, uh, Farming Simulator is my 1 o'clock time slot on Skaven Games. Um, 9 a.m. is Minecraft, and then 5 p.m. is a random one, and then 9 p.m. is a random one. And lately, 9 p.m. has been, like, these games like uh, freaking Sleeping Dogs and all that shit. So, it's pretty right on. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with the gaming channel, you know. I don't really uh, play any console games, all PC. It's all about the PC people. I love uh, PC gaming, always have, always will. 
So right on. But anyway, it's freaking 20 after 3. I gotta get my ass in gear and get the frig out of here and head off to work, so let's pitter-patter and have at her. Oh, I better fire up the car, because it's go time. Go time for work time. Fire up the car. The car is fired. All right, because we got to head her off to work. What luck is this? It's not Star Trek. Oh, it's Hunger Games. Yep, it's not Star Trek. What are you doing? I'm mad because it's not Star Trek. I want Star Trek. Oh. Yeah. What, Hunger Games turned on and you didn't want to watch it? Yeah, I don't like that. I like Star Trek. <laughs> I don't like that movie. No, I like Star Trek. Come on. Oh, you want Star Trek? Yeah, put it on. Well. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Too bad. Oh, come on, please. Okay, I'll put on some Star Trek for you. Relax. Ah, oh, sweet. Freaking cat. Put on some Star Trek for him. Freaking love Star Trek. Uh, there we go. There we go. We can watch some Star Trek. We can watch some Star there, Trek. There, you happy? Yeah, I'm freaking happy. There, now you can lay down. Yep. You can watch some Star Trek. Love that show. There you go. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Silly so so like, kit then. Star just Trek. wanted to watch some Star Trek and it was, yep. Star Trek was over and it was another movie in the queue and started watching that and oh well, that's the way she goes. Anyway, I gotta get ready for work. Let's do this. Alrighty well, it's 3.30 minus 6 out. Time to haul ass off to work. I'm time to haul ass off to work, so let's hammer down. See this dick in the infinity here riding in the middle of the two lanes? What a fucking dick, eh? Like he's literally riding in the middle of two lanes right now. He's been doing that the whole drive down. Like he doesn't have any concept of what fucking lane to be in. What an idiot. Oh, now he decides he wants to be in this lane. Way to go, Kenobi. We're proud of you. Thanks for picking a lane, freaking idiot. Oh well. It's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. Well, I'm almost at work, so we'll see what lane he picks on the turn here. I'm picking the far lane because I like the far lane, but he seems to be want to want to be a middle lane rider. What an ass. Well, I'm almost at work, so I'll check in when I get there. Alrighty, well, we're at work now, so uh, I'm gonna head her inside. I'm probably gonna get on the coffee tonight. I don't know, but uh, we're at work, so let's go inside and see what kind of bullshit's going on today, and. Uh, freaking deal with it. Sounds like a plan. Let's hammer down. Alrighty people, well it's six o'clock break time and oh it's just been one of those nights. It's been pretty busy and stuff but yeah. Yeah last night uh, One Pug Life called me. He bought one of those uh, dash cams. The ones that you can get for cheap from Hong Kong there. The uh, stick them on your dash or in your windshield name out the window and you got a little drop down screen and you know, the audio sounds like it's going through a bunch of crunched up pop cans and sounds like shit. And the video looks like it's being strained through a food strainer. You know, you know the ones, you know the ones. The problem is, is the camera records an animated JPEG and he uses a Macintosh to edit his videos. iMovie doesn't like that format. So he called me up because he was having problems importing the, uh, the photo or import, importing the video. Every time you put the SD card into his computer, iPhoto would run instead of iMovie. And I remember when I had my, um, well, when I was using my MacBook with the SOB glasses, same thing. And that's when I remembered what I used to do back in the Mac days, was when I used the Saab glasses, I used to have to use a program called Handbrake. And I used to have to import the AVI file from the, ca from the glasses into Handbrake, Handbrake it into an MOV and that worked. So. I'm thinking that's what he did last night on his video. Well, you probably all watched this video already, and you probably noticed he had the he had the potato cam footage up, it looked like balls. But what do you expect? It's got a, I think maybe a 700 kilopixel camera in it. They're not really awesome. The HD ones claim to have a 5 megapixel camera, but I beg to differ. The only true good dash cam I've ever found was the GoPro Hero 2, or the Premium Contour. Or that camera that uh, Cat Piss has, the Sony, where you can hook up a microphone to it. Those are probably the only ones that are actually decent, but you're looking at some serious cash for those, like serious cash. All those cheap Chinese knockoffs, they're junk. I just haven't found one of those cameras yet.
to this date that actually produces good audio and good video without getting all the road, road noise and the windshield uh, car shakes. You know what I'm saying? You hook it up to the windshield, every vibration in the car gets picked up by that damn camera, and that sucks. And like you said, it came with a dollar store tripod or a dollar store windshield mount, which it does. The suction cup on, it's not the best. I'm impressed it actually held up for the whole drive. But later on it'll get all flat and it won't hold out anymore and it'll be pretty cocked and you'll have to just mount it on a tripod mount on his dash because the windshield mount won't work anymore. Just like my iPhone mount that I bought from Deal Extreme. It doesn't stick to the windshield anymore because the suction cup sucks. But it doesn't stick. It's flat. It's garbage. Any hoozle, my break's almost over. It's freaking cold outside. I got a modem I gotta go rip off. So I'm configuring shit and all that. So. I'm gonna go do that now and I'll talk to you guys at my lunch. Peace the frig out. Well, it's 10.30 at night, last break of the evening. And uh, found a great game to pass the time during slow times. Yeah, it's on the iPhone and Android. It's called Four Pictures, One Word. They show you four pictures and you gotta find a word that combines all four pictures. I'm already up to level 211. It's a fun game, really makes you think. Having a great time with it too. Oh, so. Check that one out if you have an iPhone or an iPad or an Android phone or an Android tablet. Four picks, one word. It's awesome. Anyway, there's nothing to talk about. It's been a dead slow night. Frag it. Just gonna give her, get the shift over with, and go home. And tomorrow's Friday, which means it's flyer day. Right on. Anyway, people, we'll talk to you later. Okay, people, it's friggin' loud in here, but it's 12.03 minus 13 out. Gonna need to get some gas soon. Frag it. We're done work for the evening. Thank freaking God. We're heading home. I am pooped. Let's get out of here. Alrighty guys, well it's friggin' 2 o'clock in the morning. I've been home for a bit. Girlfriend wanted to show me Oreo's new trick, but you know, I got home and he was so excited that he couldn't pull it off. It took him a while, but he finally did it. But basically you point your finger at him like a gun and go bang, and he falls on the ground and then lays to his side. So he plays dead. Fun. But he'll only do it for a cookie. Silly puppy. But it's funny, he was so excited that we're like, bang! And he'd like, spin in a circle, roll over, and then play dead. And it's like, holy crap, flopping around like a flounder? It's like you winged him or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, pretty decked. But, uh, any hoozle, I'm gonna shut the vlog down here, people. I didn't bother filming Oreo's trick because, uh, friggin' camera was left in the car. So I'm going to shut her down here and call her quits for tonight. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.